Hey, folks, Daily Lance Blog here. Whoa, a little shaky on the camera, but, you know, we need Casey for that, right? Uh, I'm Michael. I'm Lee. I'm Emily. I'm Danielle. Why are we together? Uh, you're at Ivy Business School today giving a speech about mental illness for our Break the Silence event, which aims to break the silence with mental illness. Right. Why is it important? It's important because a lot of people suffer in silence, and it's important to allow people to share and break the silence that makes people feel like they're alone. So I gave the speech. What did you, what did you think? Not about the, the quality of the speech, because that would be a setup question, right? Um, what do you think resonated with the 600 students were, that were here? I think it really spoke to them, and because some of them are going through the same thing, so they don't feel like they're alone anymore. Do you feel like, see, this is, this is working really well. You guys are really good. we got a little bit of a team going here. Um, do you feel like there is a problem on this campus with people sharing, meaning is mental illness different than physical illness? 100%, definitely. Um, I, yeah. Sorry, go, Emily. I, I think there's a problem on every campus and everywhere in Canada about people feeling afraid to share. Yep, I think the stigma is very real here. <laughs> uh, what did you think when I, when I, when I used the word shit? Did you think, did I cross the line there? I was a little concerned because there were a couple of professors here. I didn't care, but I thought, okay, because, you know, you can engage people if you speak their language way more than if you speak a different language. It was yeah. perfect. Spot on. Definitely agree. Fucking right. <laughs> um, anybody here have a personal experience with mental health? Um, I do. I had a friend who um, suffers from depression. And do you feel like after hearing someone speak about it, that you understand it a little better? I will understand it better, but I'll never fully understand what she's talking about. Oh my gosh, you were actually, that's exactly what I said. You were paying attention. Mm -hmm. I, now, you guys have to prove that you were paying attention. Okay, so say something that I said to indicate that you were listening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, this, in this story, you were in Hotel Room 521. Nice! <laughs> At 4 a.m. At 4 a.m.? Oh, see, like my daughter's going to laugh her head off because she's heard this story a million times. Okay, what hotel chain was it? Marriott. Marriott, Marriott Hotel. Uh, what was the date? November 28th. November 24th. Oh, oh my God, I'm so disappointed. <laughs> I'm sorry. sorry. Thanks for coming out. We've got some parting gifts for you. So you, you can, you, Am I yeah, you're out. Okay, so we have two contestants left right now. Uh, let me ask the question What city was Tyson Williams from? Saskatchewan. That's a province. <laughs> you are out. Oh, my gosh. North Battlefield. No, North Battleford. Oh, no. There's no winners here today. But thank you for joining us. But, okay, back in now. Because this question you will be able to answer. Sick, not weak. The Daily Lands blog. How often? 364 days a year. And how many hours a day? 24 hours And why are we here? Anyone have a good answer? So you don't feel like you're alone. Nice. Ha, ha, ha.